If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Superficially, adjustment layers and fill layers have many of the same options normal layers have. They have many of the same opacity and blending mode settings available to them. However, adjustment layers let you apply a layer over an image element to experiment with color and tonal adjustments in the underlying layers within an image. Keeping the adjustment in a separate layer lets you apply adjustments without permanently altering the pixels in the underlying layers within an image. By default, an adjustment layer will affect all of the layers below it within the image. This allows you to correct multiple layers with a single adjustment layer, rather than having to individually adjust each layer. While adjustment layers let you apply photographic enhancements, fill layers simply let you fill a layer with a solid color, pattern, or gradient. To create a new adjustment layer or new fill layer, click the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer button in the toolbar at the top of the Layers panel and then choose the layer type you want to create from the drop-down menu that appears. Alternatively, you could also select Layer, New Adjustment Layer, or Layer, New Fill Layer from the menu bar, and then select the type of adjustment layer or fill layer you want to create from the side menus that then appear. Let's review the effects of applying the various types of fill layers and adjustment layers in Photoshop Elements. If you choose the solid color, this lets you select a solid fill color to apply to the layer. If you select gradient, this lets you select or create a gradient to apply to the layer. If you select Pattern, this lets you select or create a pattern to apply to the layer. The Levels choice lets you adjust the tonal values in an image. The Brightness Contrast choice lets you set values for the image brightness and contrast to lighten or darken the image. The Hue slash Saturation choice lets you select which colors to edit and then specify new values for the Hue, Saturation, and Lightness settings. The Gradient Map choice allows you to select a gradient and set the gradient options that map pixels to the color in the selected gradient. The Photo Filter allows you to apply different photographic filters to an image that adjust the color balance and color temperature. The Invert choice inverts the colors within an image based on the brightness values in order to create a photographic negative.
the threshold choice allows you to set a threshold level for the image to render the image in monochrome with no gray so you can locate the lightest and darkest areas in the image. The Posterize choice allows you to apply a flat, poster-like effect to an image by reducing the number of brightness levels in the image, thus reducing the number of colors. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.